that these, you know, families fall apart or they even encourage other people like, oh, if it doesn't work, don't just get a divorce. Like, come on. No, you have to fight for it. You have to fight for it. Uh, no. Ooh, that's better, right, babe? Yeah! Yeah. She founded an architectural concrete company. He founded a hundred million dollar clothing company. She took the world by storm as a social media star. He took the world by storm as a famous serial entrepreneur. Together we started a business. And had babies. Now we're figuring out the best ways to do both. Join us as we learn from other entrepreneurs going through the same life struggles. As they share their life hacks about success, love, kids. And everything in between. We'll call it in silence. Let your success be your noise. Quote by Frank Ocean. Don't be afraid your life will end. Be afraid that it will never be again. Welcome back to the Pretty and Punk Podcast. My name is Dan Caldwell, and I'm here with my beautiful co-host and Ildico wife. Ildiko Ferenzi. Ildiko Ferenzi. I'm ready to go. <laughs> Got Here a, we go. another great podcast for you yes. guys today. Uh, how's everybody doing? Is it feel like it's crazy? Like everything's crazy. It feels like everything's crazy. As you see, I mean, craziness here, craziness there. Yeah. Well, and then that's what pushes us into our topic this week. Do you want to introduce it, or do no, you want you me to introduce it? Like it's, uh, well, you introduce it. Okay, bring up that tone. It's living your best life today. And you could be going through stuff. I know a lot of us are going through stuff. And I feel like I was talking to some people in our community and, and they were kind of the, just the way that they were talking, it's almost like they were waiting for things to happen before they could give themselves permission to live their best life. And I just want to encourage everyone, don't wait till you have that 10 million in the bank or you're feeling 100% rested or healthy or waiting for that you know, the diagnosis to be over with or whatever you're going through, we need to start living our best life where we are. Right now. That, right now. But, uh, but I mean, you know, and not to say that we're to not do. to say that you don't, that we're not working or that you don't need to, you know, you're, if you're building your company or, or whatever you're doing in your life, not to say that you can't still do that. Because, you know, you're going to spend a lot of time on that. It's finding it's the, the time. attitude, finding the joy, finding the gratitude. And finding but the before, things that you can do that. Yeah, but, but before we get into that, let's listen to this first. Hey guys, we hope you're enjoying today's episode of the Pretty and Punk Podcast. And if you are, and you haven't already hit that like and subscribe button, it just takes a second. It means so much to us because it really helps the podcast get out there to more listeners like you guys. And if you know anybody, it might help and you can send it to them. We really appreciate that too. We also love and appreciate your reviews. Even the babies look forward to them every day. If you share this episode on social media today, don't forget to tag us. We want to celebrate you because we know it's not easy being a parent in business. And the way that you juggle things makes you a superhero. That's worth a shout out. Together, we have a community of our personal followers as well. And we just want to put it out there. We want to show everybody that this juggle is possible. And and you are our family, and we're so proud and grateful to have you a part of this family. So don't forget, the sh- all the links are below in the show notes. And thank you again, and let's get back to the show. So this week, we're going to talk about some compelling reasons of how and why to live your best life. And yeah, I mean, I heard, I heard there's like this big asteroid Oh gosh, don't bring Coming it Coming our way. Come on, stop. <laughs> and like, you know, our president's getting shot, our ex-president's oh, getting dear. shot at. The, we got this new election. I feel like Satan's coming down on us. All There's, all, there's well, so he much can happening try. He in can the try, world. But the thing is, when you... I mean, on the world, not on us specific. I mean, of course, he's coming down on everybody, but he's, you know, I feel like well, the world's in like this crazy state. Maybe it's just my... Yeah, you your know, algorithm <laughs> might just algorithm. be bad. Mine's all <laughs> Looks like there's beautiful shootings and no, 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 and no, no. People no. are going crazy in the UK and London. I don't know, just like so much going on. Yeah, I that- don't have any of that. <laughs> 
I don't. <laughs> uh, I have like it's beautiful. Just me? Yeah, I've got beautiful. Everything's beautiful. People are having babies and wonderful, wonderful. Oh boy, like, I gotta, I gotta thoughts. like restart just, my algorithm just or use something. My phone. You, you watch one little sideways video. Next thing you know, you get yeah. the whole world falling apart. Well, and apart. that's the thing. You gotta really be careful about the stuff that you could take in because it really brings you down. And if you're already in that risky space where you're, you know, worried about things, it can really alter your mindset. But I think first, let's start with, because I want to be able to, um, you know, share some tactical insights with you guys. And we're only going to do a quick one because we are getting ready to go on a little vacation with the family, which is so exciting and this very vacation we that we are doing where are we going again we are i don't know if i'm allowed to say yet <laughs> i want to wait till <laughs> after it's to, our try to get you it's to say our it, but, okay. it's our our okay we're gonna go have a good time our bougie and we'll, camping we'll but, post a bunch you know, of pictures when we get back yeah it's gonna be beautiful. but you know yeah it's you know what it's 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 things like that right it's it's trying to get out of your state of mind and refreshing yourself like a restart right, kind of like re, like a reboot of my my algorithm you reboot your life a little bit right and one thing that we can do is the health and well-being and that doesn't just mean obviously yes we should be active go for a walk wherever you're at you know after my surgery I can work out for a long time so I just did little things whatever you're able to do yes be physically active whatever you're able to do but that means also feeding yourself well Feeding yourself healthy things, drinking the water, getting the rest, dealing with the stress. How are you, um, how do you feel that that's the best way to do it? For me, it's a little bit of exercise and definitely, you know, I, I, in my life, I don't drink. Um, I like my green tea. Dan likes his coffee. I don't let him go get takeout coffee because of the... Yeah, that's my vice. It's like my vice. Like it's all But my... I try to make him healthy coffee. So I'll put col- I have a, I have collagen in there, coffee with collagen. oils, all kinds of good stuff. And, um, but you it know, feels like the one learning... thing that I need in my life <laughs> that makes me happy. Okay. I gotta have that. I mean, it's okay. It's, it's not, you know, there's different things about caffeine, but definitely you don't want to be getting those to go coffees with the microplastics. Like we all know what that does to your body now. It's definitely or, a or carcinogen. Or forbid you got an energy drink going on every day or a few. Oh gosh. Two or three energy drinks a day. That, yeah. No, that's I mean, sure people are honestly yourself. going to the hospital with heart problems yeah, and you... stuff. So get your water in, get all these tactical things that you can do, get your greens, get your vegetables, eat healthy. And, you know, some people are going towards a vegetarian. Some people are, are getting their meats in. If you are getting your meats and make sure it's, it's organic and, grass fed and just get the best quality that you can. And I know I understand everything's so exp- I was in the grocery store the other day. I usually have someone help me do the shopping, but I was out and about and I was getting my stuff and just everything's so pricey. So you it's know, out of stick control. Did you ba- see that guy who, who two years ago he Let's bought get he, depressing. He, he, but he bought crazy. his Instacart. He, uh-huh. he bought all the stuff on Instacart. Yeah. And then um he compared then it to two there. years later Oh, he was man. able to reorder. You know how you can reorder what you've already ordered? Yeah. So he saw his price, what oh, he had paid dear. two years ago, and yeah. then we went to go reorder. It was like double the price, literally more than double the price mm-hmm. for everything, for the exact same items Dang. that he had got two years ago. Dang. I mean, that's insane. Yeah, I mean, it's really crazy. The thing is, at the end of the day, you know, um, you just it's it's like there's there's a way the only, you just got to clear your mind of some of this stuff because yeah. if you're worried about every single thing it's a, i mean part of the fix is i feel like and i mean tell me if i'm wrong but when you're making more money you don't really think about some of those things as right. much yeah. i mean they still impact you and all those things impact you of and course. i and i know there's you know, it's, it's well, not easy. Well, the one easy. thing that it, you and I don't fall into is I remember growing up, my mom really made everything uh, 
old old school home, old school homeschool. Uh, she made everything by scratch, and I remember feeling. And this was it was interesting how I got influenced. Like, oh, but we need to be eating craft dinner. Why can't we have that? Or why can't we have Heinz ketchup and all these things that. And now when you go down the rabbit hole and you see what's in it, she wouldn't buy me ketchup chips or anything with colors. And, and she had that old school mindset, like it's all chemicals. And like, but what does that even mean? Who cares? Everybody at school is eating it. But now that I know what I know, I'm exactly like her, but we're not worse, but just more aware. So uh, just do the research on everything. I got a dealer. Okay. I go see a dealer. I get my milk from a dealer because we drink raw milk and eggs and all that stuff. So that, those are the things that make me Just happy. Just do the best you can do. The do the best you, you know. can. Um, and anyway, so health and wellness, that's going to be one of the tactical things that you could do to live your best life. Now, the other thing is personal growth. And Dan and I, I feel like when we met each other, this is something that we were both big on. I grew up in a home where my mom always encouraged me to be around smarter and, and, you know, people that were better than me and just never, never have ego. Don't be afraid to ask questions. Now this goes for listening to, to podcasts because you know, as, as parents now, we don't have as much time. We're building businesses or we're stay at home parents doing, you know, all the things. And we don't have the times time to do the events that you and I used to do. Yeah. We used and, to go to events all the time. Actually, right. one of our first dates was a Tony Robbins event. Yeah. Yeah. So that's something that we do. If we can bring the family, we'll go. But I feel like but now you can do them virtually. You can do them online. You I mean, can. there's no excuses. But you for just have to be careful. You just event. have to be careful because I feel like a lot of these events are oh, bring your kids and stuff, and it's just so foul. Like the language, I <laughs> think they forget that there really is parents trying to do the thing that we're doing. So well, that, that's why we're doing. That's why you great. do it virtually, and mm -hmm. it doesn't matter because. You can, if you don't, if it's not good or you don't want your kids watching it, you yeah, can either, you, just, you know, have them do something else or you can turn it off. Yeah. And we have something in the works. We are planning something for our community. So we're excited about that. But definitely um, podcasts, books, and listen to them out loud so your kids can be influenced by that. So that's going to really help you live your best life. And yeah, I just, I was, I was just watching. No, You're I so just, good at that too. I think just always trying to put, I, I, we have Daniel watch a documentary mm -hmm. every single day. Yeah, we set time and aside so he can learn something new every day, something that, Something that deep dives a little bit more yeah. than like a worksheet or something. So we have him watch a documentary. Sometimes it's only a five minute documentary for kids about mm -hmm. Abraham Lincoln. And the other times it's, he wants to watch a certain science show, and we let him watch that. I mean, he is yeah. watching them every day, five days a week anyways. And so, you know, it could be anything. So sometimes yeah. it's we give him a little more leeway, and he watches. But yesterday I had him watch a great um, uh, short, uh, like two-hour, I think it was a two-hour uh, call that, that I was I had watched mm -hmm. and I thought it was really good. It was from a great speaker who uh, who's a speaker for Microsoft, and he he was talking about speaking and mm -hmm. Daniel obviously being a speaker. I want it, it was a little bit um, you know it was he's speaking to adults, but I yeah, wanted I Daniel to that. watch yeah. it yeah. because I thought uh, there's so many great tips in there and so many great points that the guy was making. And I thought it would be great for Daniel, but so I just had him watch it for his documentary. In that. So that's he I is, mean, but, that works. But it out was for it us. was kind of like you know I think he would have. Here's the thing, he would have chosen to watch a science one instead or something else instead. But, but you it was, encouraged but I him. But I told him how you good knew this was going to be. Would love it. And the guy did some magic in the in <laughs> in the show, so it was great that he got to see that and he enjoyed that part of it too. So it just made it fun, and the guy is fun anyway. So it was I knew it'd be good for him. Yeah, and uh, so yeah, have your kids find fun shows, find fun things where they get to learn, and you can learn with them. I mean, I watched it with him, so 
it was great. We had a great time. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, that's true because there are a lot of people out there with charisma that are just really exciting to watch. But I know some people in business, it's like when you listen to them, they're so monotone and they don't talk very exciting and it's like watching paint dry, but you have to listen to them because <laughs> yeah. they are smart. I mean, that's really what this guy it. was teaching. It. He's like the communications Oh, I love that. For I love. Microsoft. And, and that's so, so important. He works with if the we Microsoft can't teams. communicate, we can't get anywhere in life. Like that is so important. That is so key for children to start learning how to communicate um, well because they're gonna need it. That's a lifelong skill, public speaking, if they're comfortable with it. Um, and also financial literacy. So all that stuff, that's stuff that we always need to learn because there's different things in business and finances and all that fun stuff. Open your mind to new things, new hobbies, things that the family can do together. That's going to help you live your best life. Step outside your boundaries. Do things that maybe are a little, you know, uh, that maybe even scare you a little bit. Just step outside of your comfort box and go jump out of an airplane. I'm good. (laughs) What? One day, one day we're just going to show up. No. At, oh, yeah. God already it's gave happening. me the blessings of to yeah. survive. He's I've done be it like, once and I said I'll probably Dick, never do it again. I got, but. You out of the, I got you out of the health scare. I got you out. Why would you jump out of a plane? Just why would you do that? I've, I've hey, dealt with it's worse. It's a perfectly good... Yeah, actually, nah, you know why you I'm jump? I'm not scared, I was more though. scared of the airplane. The airplane, was, seriously, and no joke. I'm not I was scared, literally though. more scared of I being just, in the airplane. The airplane looked like it was ready to... Like a no, wing was about to fall off. I'm not off. excited and about so, that. And so... Maybe, so I mean, jumping I'm out no. was kind of like a relief. It was like, as soon as you jump out, you're kind of like, wow, we're away from that thing. At least we're going to be okay now. And as long so as this parachute funny. opens, we'll be good. Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why. It just, if it was something that excited me, then I'd do it. But I'm not scared. Like, I'm not scared to do it. And I'm not really excited to do it. So I'm just kind of, mm, I don't know. It's, it's We'll see. Like, we'll see. Nah, I'm just not excited <laughs> about it. I'm gonna drag you kicking and screaming. No, I don't want to. Oh it's yeah, not I fun know. For me, yeah. I'd Until rather go on a there. vacation somewhere. I'd rather have a no. There's you, other you, challenging So you're telling me you'd I rather go do. to the south of France than jump out of an airplane? Yes. Why? Because. A cruise You're just going to be Greece. more memorable. You've been to the south of France. We've no, but I want to go again. No, Monaco. I Where just want to relax. Go? I want to bring my kids. I want to make great memories. I don't want to jump out of a plane. I don't. It doesn't. Uh, it's not a bucket list. Okay. I'd rather you know, let's go to Greece and let's go do do the things. Let's go do the things. Okay. So whatever, whatever tickles. If you want to jump out of a plane, do that because that'll help you live your best life. But for me, I just I'm not excited about that right now. I've had enough fear. Or surprise your enough, wife for her listen, birthday I've with, been a, through, with an airplane no, ride. No, I've been through armed robberies. I've been through gunfights. I'm good. Like I've had that part of my adrenaline <laughs> go. I'm cool. I'm good. <laughs> I lived it. Um, so next one, let's do meaningful relationships. Okay. This is going to help you do your best life, uh, living, loving all the good stuff, joy with your partner. But then also, this also covers really take inventory. And we've talked about this before. Take inventory of your surroundings. Are these people encouraging you? Are they lifting you? Because we all know, and I just listened to someone talk about it the other day, that negative people in your life will actually ruin your life. And probably because of the mental stress and, and, and stress is the number one killer. It can really, sometimes we have negative people in our family, in our surrounding, in our friendship. And it's not, uh, you it's not know, healthy. It's I mean, a, here's the thing. When you, when you have something on your heart, like you're, like you're trying to start a business or you're, oh my or gosh, you're creating yeah. a product, or even if you're just maybe deciding to eat organic or whatever that right. might be. There oh could be gosh. little things where yeah, you're just deciding, true. I'm going to do this for my family. I'm going to do it for myself. Why do you eat You're so going to have somebody in your like, life that's just who's going to, who's going to, if, if they're not, 
if they're not bet inspiring you, if they're not people around you that are inspiring you and yeah. you have some negative Nelly or whoever they might be or some family member, whoever they might oh be gosh, in your life yeah. who starts pulling you down, those are the type of people that you just have to like go, look, I can't talk to these people anymore. And or, you can be honest and you can just be honest. I've had this conversation with people. I've actually had this conversation of I love you but I can't be I can't be around you it's not good for me and it's probably not good for you because my way of life might not you know well I can't think that it wouldn't be good for them but it just I had to have the talk and I I have to be honest I I can't be around you and sometimes if you don't think that they're you know, going to understand you just, you just can't you can just answer be busy. the phone you can anymore just be busy. and you just start I mean, getting busy. I used to have this sarcastic person in my life that was like really like sarcastic that. all the time no, I don't and sarcastic like about everything and to the point where no, it was we like, we don't have that in our house I know, I couldn't all. take it anymore. I, it just had to like not pick up the phone anymore. No, that's not fun. No, I couldn't. No, I, I just honestly, I have to be around people that lift me, that challenge me, that are honest, honest. Yes, sometimes the truth hurts, but I know it's because they love me. And my mom, my mom was one of the people that was so brutally honest with me, but I always knew, I always knew, I don't think anybody loves you more than your mom until, you know, until you get married. But even then, sometimes I'm like, I think maybe my mom loved me more in certain ways. Well, sometimes, and you know what the sad thing is, sometimes it will be your mom and mm -hmm. it'll be your dad. And it's not that you can't, like for them, for your close family members, sometimes mm-hmm. you just have to have the talk with them. Mm-hmm. So it's like, look, I understand that you just want the best for me. Because most of the time, most of the time, not every time, but most of the time, your brothers, your sisters, your cousins, your parents, they want the best for you. Mm-hmm. But Oh, no, my mom was never they, negative. Well, no, my, but she was never I'm negative. just saying when they're worried about you, it'll come off as, it'll stress you. Because they'll be worried no. about, uh, you know, do you... Are you sure this is right? Why are oh, you my doing mom this would push. or why are you See, doing I that? See, think, I think it was different with my mom. My mom would push me. I'm just saying, what I'm not saying just for your mom. Just I'm saying for, for p- people in the world that their people, closest yeah. family members yeah, yeah, will yeah, come at them yeah. because they're worried about them. Right. And so when you're worried about people, it, you're doing it with love sometimes. <laughs> you're going, you know, are you yeah, really sure that you just... You know, I mean, I quit my job and my parents, yeah. came, you know, I quit my job as a police officer and they're like, are you sure this was the right move? Oh, you know, see, it wasn't I'm, that they, yeah. they, they yeah. love me. They just want to go, are you sure you made the right decision here? I knew in my heart, they didn't know everything. They hadn't seen mm-hmm. my books. You know, they didn't know I made, you know, yeah. a couple million dollars last year or a million yeah. dollars last year or whatever we were at at that time. Yeah. And, uh, you know, they just knew that, they they were worried that I had worked so hard to get this job, even yeah. though I wasn't at um, my original job that I that I loved. Mm-hmm. This one was kind of like a secondary job, but I was still working to try to get a, another big department. And they just wanted the best for me. And mm-hmm. so sometimes they say this stuff when they just want the best for you. And sometimes you just have to have that conversation with them. You you just tell them, look. I understand that you want the best for me. And I had this conversation with them. Yeah. I understand you want the best for me. Right. I understand you're just worried about me. Yeah. But I promise you, I promise you, we're on the we're onto something here. Yeah. We're on the right track. Yeah, and sometimes true. it's yeah. showing them your numbers, showing mm-hmm. them what's going on, showing them what's happening. Like you see how this has grown every I mean, that's what I did. I said, Do you see how this has grown every month? Mm -hmm. For the past three years, do you see where this is going right now? Do you see how fast this is, you know, where we're going to be here in a minute? If this keeps going this way, that, you know, who knows where this is going? And because at that time we were also riding, um, you know, the wave of the UFC. Uh So the UFC growth and, and, you know, my parents knew, my dad knew because he had watched the very first UFC with me. The very first time it was on pay-per-view, he bought, he bought the pay-per-view for me. (laughs) So, you know, when you have those conversations with them, it helps them get on the page with you and they're still going to be worried, but at least you won't have that weight of them coming on to you all the time. Yeah. See, I never, I never had that from my mom. My mom would like, 
fire under my crazy ideas because I mean, she, as an entrepreneur, old school entrepreneur, that was a crazy idea for her. And I remember her friends would be like, oh, why don't you just, you know, not her friends, friends, but just people like, um, there was this one person I remember and she told this person to never call her again. She said to go on, uh, like food stamps or welfare or something. And my mom just said, do not call me ever again, because she said, I cannot, I would not be able to live my, with myself if my kids ever saw me do something like that. And I've never seen a harder worker and she was always successful. I mean, she made it by herself as a single mom. I don't recommend it to anyone. It is not easy. People say, oh yeah, you could just get divorced and you get the kids part time and it's great. No, it's not. It isn't. My mom succeeded, but I know the overworking and all the hours added to, you know, the illness and stuff at the end of her life. But she li- she did live a good life and she lived the best life that she could in the position that we she was in. And I respect her for everything, but it just makes me sad that these, you know, families fall apart or they even encourage other people like, oh, if it doesn't work, don't just get a divorce. Like, come on. No, you have to fight for it. You have to fight for it. Anyway, just being around people that have the best influence for you. Um, as I said, for me, I had to get rid of uh, negative Nelly friends. It just would, it gives me like this anxious feeling. Like I cannot be around people like that. Or if they're, you know, talking behind my back, those people aren't your friends. Like you don't need them. Just shave them no, off. You the want list. people that are going to lift you up. You yes. want people that, you know, that's you why work. This typically is our community you, you end awesome. up surrounding yourself yeah. by with your, you know, if you have a partner in your business or mm-hmm. and your girlfriend or your wife. And that's why you end up surrounding yourself mm-hmm. with those people mm-hmm. because, you know, those people have your best interests in mind. Right. And they're d- usually dependent on your success. Mm-hmm. So you guys are all in the same boat together. And mm-hmm. sometimes, you know, as an entrepreneur, you're you're already crazy if you're doing what you're doing. So no, you're not. Well, you're just crazy in the way that wonderful. You're crazy Amazing. like a fox. Crazy like a fox. And you're I know what you're saying, you got people but. coming at you, and you you have to be a little crazy to do this. So sometimes only you only no. understand each other. You Belie- have to be a warrior. Well, like ex- excited. Okay, there's a few different ways you can explain ex- it, but and it is. But I mean, we're doing thing. We're we're not taking the easy route. And so a lot of people That's think That's true. You're that not depending on the 9 to 5. There will be months where it's hard, even years until you get to that vision. That's I love the the coming up story. I I think that's why we started the collectibles business a while back for Daniel because or or just wanted to have it around him and then he started doing the quotes and all that stuff which is so cool but what i love about these documents of entrepreneurs and and great leaders and presidents and and these things that we collected and we have a great muhammad ali one right now that's super exciting because yeah, they're his, starting this contract from a 1970 show. for a fight they have a show around the very contract that we have Isn't that nuts? Yeah. Anyway, off topic a little bit, but what was I trying to say? You were talking about... See, when we get so sidetracked because we're talking about... Oh, boy. I just there saw the go. clock, okay. and I know we're supposed to wrap it up early this time, and it got me. Mommy, See, pray. you, you got to mark yourself if you're going, okay, I'm going to get sidetracked here for a second. You got to write. Like, this is what I'm coming back to. I got excited about the contract, oh, and I lost gosh. everything. I lost that all. But, um, yes. Bro, I, told, I told you this. I said, when we start this podcast, I said, do not look at me like... I'm going to save you. Like, I know you're, you, did I just say like, like three times in a row? Yeah. Listen, I'm not going to save you. I said, when you get sidetracked like that, you have to find your way back. And so <laughs> you got to go. Don't look at me. She looks at me. Okay. For people who don't see what we're doing. She looks at me and she goes time. like, go ahead. Like you talk. Just <laughs> 
I told you, and I specifically said at the beginning of this podcast, I said, I'm not going to save you when you do that because I know you get sidetracked and, and move you start for, talking moving about forward. So there you, you can be Let's the, ex- go. you could be Let's the go. one, you could be the one that changes someone's day. Give them a quick morning text. And that goes for the people in your circle, your husband or whoever you think. It's why we advocate so much for a family Mm -hmm. business, you know, for Mm -hmm. your wife, you and your wife, she's your best partner or your husband. They're your best partner. And then maybe you have another partner, you know, another best friend or a brother or cousin. Send them a letter, send them a text, send them something that lifts their spirit. And also really listen to each other, the people around you, especially your spouse. Like just make sure the phones, I mean, this isn't something you guys don't know, but just put the phone down. When your kids are coming to you, never make them feel like your phone or your business or anything like that is more important. Include them in the business. Um, put the phone down, full eye contact, all that stuff. And listen, guys, you guys are the priest of your home. And I'm going to tell you something that you can implement today because this is something we do and and, um, uh, we've been doing and I would love you to keep doing forever and ever is we as as the the men the men in the family are ordained, are ordained to speak blessings over their wives or over and your, it's over so your sim- entire family over, your wives over your, and your family your but it speak is blessings so, over your kids so important yes I'm like we where do you go with this time. for a second I was like what about I, you I, no, I, but I thought because, I'm supposed to know this no but because I, as as your wife when you speak blessings over your wife because she's there's a lot of mental load, and especially when we've just had babies and we're breast, we're, we're nursing, we're doing all the things. We're in a different place, and sometimes we feel like we're losing our identity, but really pray for her because her identity, she's giving birth to this new, incredibly strong woman, and she, the devil may, you know, the dark forces may want to make her feel like she's losing herself when really she is stepping into the thing that she is called for. Yes, we build businesses with our our wives or maybe our wives are building businesses or maybe they're stay at home, but they are falling into their true calling. And when you just start speaking a simple blessing over your wife every day, it is powerful and transformational. And when she feels that, you know, that, that love from you, it's going to be a blessing for you, for your whole family. And that's important. And and I'll tell you what, too, guys out there, you need your wife to be at her best. Yes. Not only to support you and what you're doing, but if she's your partner, I need my, I need Ildiko to be my best partner, mm-hmm. and I want the best for her. I want her to be able to operate at one hundred and fifty percent. And I and I know you know because of her her medical challenges, you know it's not always easy for her. And so I want her to operate at her best. So I'm 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 constantly praying over her and 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 thanking her, and I want her. And you know not to say that. You know, everything's always perfect, but we're, you know, she's, she's going through a lot and I know she's going through a lot. And sometimes when I get a little stressed and I'm going, dealing with a lot of things at once and, you know, I, I try to go back and remember her, you know, the Bible says it, you know, love your wife like Christ loved the church and Mm -hmm. Christ died for the church. So how much do you love your wife? You need to, and if she doesn't know that you need to tell her and mm-hmm. and the some of the one of the best ways you can do it because I mean it's great it's you know sometimes it feels a little awkward when you're telling her directly because it comes out you got kids yelling and running and things going on and they're making food and you're, everything's yeah. going on in the world I'll tell you where it's the easiest to just say all the things that you want to say is in prayer yeah when you speak a prayer your over your wife and your it kids too. it's just. Yeah, and it's nothing is absolutely more it's great for your kids to hear like you a doing security that for your wife. blanket for your kids is when they know their parents love each other. Everything could be sideways, but if they know their parents love each other and they're secure in their relationship, that that 
I mean, we can go into a whole different podcast about how negatively it will affect your kids, not just now, but the toxicity that it'll cause in their future life if the parents don't get along. So it is so important to have God bless your marriage, bless your spouse and mothers. We've said this before. Nothing is more powerful. Of course, you know, the father pray over your kids, but nothing is more powerful than a, than a praying mother. It'll get all, I know, it'll, it'll get all disease out of the way, all negative people. Pray over the friends that your kids aren't supposed to have. They'll just fall off. It's fixed everything in our lives. I'm I'm telling you. Praying mothers, praying husbands. You know what? Destiny said something yesterday that like was, uh, it was, um, it, it, you know, it's not that it's, it wasn't that big of a deal, what? but it, to me, it was a big deal. Uh-huh. She said she when you were gone, and yeah. I was watching both of them, and I can't remember Daniel's exact words. What he said was something like, you know, um, uh, mom will throw mom will throw dad off the couch or something like that. And Destiny, you know how she'll get, <laughs> she takes the words a little literal, you know? Oh, so he yeah. was like playing, you know, like things are, were playing. And, yeah. and she goes, mom would never do that. Oh. Mom loves daddy. He would, she wouldn't do that to him. Oh, and she got all mad so and kind of, kind of stood up to Daniel a little cry. bit. And I was like, oh no, he's just playing, babe. Oh, you know, I was just trying to, so but precious. she was, I, I, I was a, it was a good moment for me. I it was makes like, me cry. I, I love that she said that. Yeah, she's so precious. Yeah, she definitely is. And, and we, in, we push that in our children to stand up for other people that don't have a voice. Have the courage to speak up for other people that don't have a voice. And never be afraid to bring people closer to God because it can literally save their life. So I love that about her. I love that about Daniel. Daniel's a jokester, but I do love how she definitely has the the courage. And and that's her middle name. Fierce yeah, she's, 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 she definitely she is. She will say if somebody's not saying the right thing, she will definitely stand up for what she up. believes in. Yeah, she's so awesome that way. And, uh, and that's something we encourage in both of our kids, and it makes me happy. And I love when even I, sometimes I've said something a little negative, and she's like, you can do it because God loves you. And she just she Daniel just says definitely the say that too. Yeah. So anyway, I, I hope that you guys have an incredible week and we are coming to a close. Yeah, we're going to be on the road this week, but um, I will tell you guys all about it next week when we get back. And we appreciate you guys listening and tuning into this week's Pretty and Punk podcast. And we'll catch you guys next week when we get back. Yes, God bless you guys. Have a great life. Have a great week. Have a great day. <laughs> Have a great life. Have like the they're best like life. they're never gonna come back. No, but that's guys, a please come back and listen to the podcast. Don't Stop. send them off forever. No. Okay. Have the best life. Thank you guys. Your for best tuning life in. starts now. Thank you for spending your time with us. I hope you learned something inspiring today. God bless. I'll see you next week. Thank you for listening to this episode of the Pretty Net Punk Pod. We hope to see you next week. God bless. We love you.